everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is part three of our Makeover Monday. And I am, oh, let's see. I'm going to work on these tall thin tags. And I wanted to, let's see, here we go. I wanted to uh, kind of tie them all together and create like a, almost like a fan effect with them to be able to write on. And I haven't used these in a while. I made them, gosh, a while ago. These little split pins. Um, yeah. They're like big brads, basically. But you can decorate them any way you want so they can coordinate and match with your papers. So that's what I'm going to do. I found um, a little piece of the uh, cutoff papers. Here we go. Here's some of my cutoffs. And then I cut out, there was the little eye here. Oops. And it says eyes tested, so you can see part of it, but I'm gonna turn that into a brad, or a split pin. So I'm gonna grab one of these. And I got my hot glue gun going. And let's see, I need to firm that up. So let's see if this is big enough. So I cut this out using this punch. Um, I believe this is the one inch. Yeah, this is the one inch punch. See if I can get a few circles out of here to keep it nice and stiff. There we go. And these are the cutoffs um, from the cards that um, I had earlier. So we're gonna glue these together. Hmm. Where's my scissors? There they are. Clean up that little edge right there. Okay, just putting two of these together to give it some thickness and stability. Good. And then we'll apply the image. And then I'm going to ink it up. almost wish I had done them separately. As you can still see a little bit of the lighter color in between the two, but I think it's going to be fine. Just fine. All right, so the plan is to punch a hole through there and attach this. So let's get this attached. I got my glue guns already on. Come on. That sit there. I don't think I'll need that, so I'm gonna unplug that real quick. There we go. All right, so I'm going to grab um, my crocodile. I'm gonna punch a hole. I'm 
it will actually fit through the smaller hole, so I'm going to go with the least amount of damage. <laughs> so let's put those together, and I kind of want that just right there, so somewhere in there. There we go. Oh, maybe it won't fit that one. Let's do the bigger hole. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So there's that. So this will fan open and it'll give you opportunity to uh, journal on each piece and keep it all together. Excellent. So there's that. And then I was, um, let's see, I got this done here, which you guys saw. And then I decided on the piece that's going to go into this pocket. There's so much room in that pocket. I want to be able to utilize it more so uh, what I decided to do was to actually create another pocket out of this card so this journal card will become a pocket to house my file folders and then it'll all fit into that pocket so um, I'm going to use this to back it to make the uh, the back of the pocket so I think what I'm going to do is glue it into place. Well, no, I want to cut it first because what I want to do is I want to ink part of that. So pencil, I know I saw it here. Here it is. that again. Let's see it now. Jeez, barely. Hmm. Let me switch to a pen. I know I have one over here. I have a pen somewhere. There it is. Yeah, let's do this again with a pen so I can see what I'm doing. That just does not want to, to mark. Okay, here we go. See that didn't mark this time? Yes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um, I think I am going to tear it. So I'm going to try to finish this up in this third video. And if I don't quite get it done in the time frame I want, then what I will do is um, do a little flip through and attach it at the end of the final. Where's my scissors right there? Let's trim that just a little. Okay, 
and then let's see. This is gonna go on there. I think I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm going to ink inside. I mean, you're still gonna be able to see some of the white, but I think it'll be a little bit better this way. glitter glue for this and I did just so that you guys know go around these <clears throat> three outside edges <clears throat> excuse me with a emery board just to kind of rough up the surface so that I make sure I get a good connection for this uh, pocket Closed up using a dry wet wipe just to press it down and give that a second to dry. And I did want to also ink up the inside of this just because it's kind of showing a little the edges and the inside. So I'm going to put this on that back piece. this side to help mm -hmm. yeah there we go so cool so we've got us a floating card slash pocket and these are the pieces <clears throat> I wanted <clears throat> excuse me are the pieces I wanted to put in there One right there, just peeking out, and one up there. Just peeking out, excellent. And then all of that will go into there. There, and then the whole thing pulls out with that tab. I mean, these don't have to be peeking out, but they'll show a tiny bit. They don't have to. I don't want them to go sink all the way in, but yeah. Uh, let me do a little extra inking here now that I got this, this on there. I'm seeing some of that white show through from the other side. the back side of that collage paper so there excellent so that is gonna go right in there yeah so that whole thing will pop out cool all right and then I want to be able to create a space to house this little guy 
and I kind of like the idea because it's got a very similar curve of housing it so that it lines right up under that. So I'm going to put a pocket here, but I don't want to hide the image, so I'm going to use a vellum for that. So I'm going to, actually I might do a double, I might do two pockets here, do them both in vellum. I'm going to make a little mark. I'll use my pencil for this one. So I'll cut there. going to, let's see, how deep do I want to make those? So, oh, you know what I think I'll do? I know what I'll do. I've seen somebody do this before. Uh, I wish I could remember who it was, but I don't. Offhand. Instead of making it two separate pockets, I can create one pocket with this piece. Or, or create two pockets with one piece without having to cut anymore. Now these I want to ink. just inked the wrong side, didn't I? Hmm, let's do this again. There, covered now either way. So what I want to do is fold this up. Let's see. Now fold this down. two pockets hmm do I want to do that line up with it totally but I do hmm maybe you don't I just want to have a nice deep pocket so that it stays in place I think it would look in weird if it was a big pocket and it stopped short hmm all right I'm gonna change up that I still want to leave this back here I think it's a good spot for it. I think what I will do is cut it down just a little bit. And I'll still have another piece of vellum I can use for another pocket, maybe somewhere else. Let's see. So I will keep this still a fairly deep pocket. ink the rest of this and I do want to edge there around those corners good and 
And as most of you know, I like to use um, double-sided tape to attach my vellum. Excellent. Okay, looks like I over went over a little bit over there, but that's all right. We can fix that before we put it down. So any little edges of tape that are going too far past the outside edge, I'm just gonna fold them in on itself. And that, there we go, fits very nicely in there. Cool, I like that. All right, so next, what shall we do next? So there's that piece. Um, I need to find the elastic. I did want to build some pockets here. I was going to use the, uh, here we go, the little corner pockets and put in two pockets that kind of overlap each other. So I'll have a pocket there and a pocket there. Um, I kind of want to do a little decorating before I do that. Um, and let's see, part of that decorating is going to involve some of these papers. From that book, um, uh, the uh, dictionary, that old dictionary with that beautiful coloring. So I want to think about maybe adding in a little bit here and there. Um, I was actually thinking of highlighting the opening of the pocket by using part of the book. So first I think I need to do is, I do kind of like the idea of having something there, but let's do this first. Um, size wise, I need to cut down my corners, at least on this one. I'm going to have it overlap the outside edge and the bottom edge. Right there. right off. And this one is going to be just to there, so I'm not going to round that corner. 
And it's going to stay lined up. But I am going to cut off, oops, this edge. So from there, there to there. There. Okay. Excellent. All right, so just going to tear a few pieces. So what I want to do is take this, oops, and glue it down and fold it over. Yeah. So the same thing for this one. And fold it right in half. right side up let's see let's do this one here yeah there we go and that one there so I'm gonna clean this up just a little it's a little too deep that deeper than what I would want so there's that and we are going to do some ink in ink the other edge after I attach it. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to get out my little blue book here because we are going to attach it with a glue stick. And there's this, this side. Okay, so let's trim this down. One and yeah, there we go. Get that fold so I can see where to trim it. There we go. All right, a little more inking. So now we've got that, I can put those in, but before I do that, I think I might use this little tear off piece. And I think I'm gonna run that right down through there, just like that. Let's go ahead and give it a little, a little bit of inking. 
I don't even know if I need quite that much. Well, some of it'll show. So we'll ink it up a little. Just to give it a little more character, even if it's not much. Okay. Go ahead and put this down. Yeah, I like that. There we go. And then these in place. Okay. So, if this one's going to go there. This one have to go about right there so the top of this lines up with that line and art glitter glue it is that okay and then that one yes perfect all right Move a little bit, but that's all right. Let's just make sure we get a good connection here. While it's drying. Cool. Yeah, I like that. So I was thinking of putting the tags into these pockets. I've got, I think there's six tags total. Yeah, and those sit in there nicely. Cool, it's coming along. Uh, I am going to pull out some labels and things too, but for right now, I'm going to leave pretty much as is. Um, let's see, I wanted to do something um, on this page. I'm just not 100% sure what. Hmm. So I've got the tickets and I got the little circles. Maybe I'll just collage that. We've got these two pockets. We've got this large pocket. We've got this pocket in the back. And I do want to do some decorating. But I also want to get that signature in. So let me uh, get the papers together for the signature. And I'll be right back. Okay. All right, so I have the signatures uh, picked out. It's uh, some dark coffee dyed paper. <clears throat> and then there's a few pages, uh, including the center of the signature, that are from the kit. Uh, let's see, there's a lined one, and then there's one in here with some music on it. There you go. But mostly it's all <clears throat> pretty dark coffee dyed paper. Um, I have the elastic. So let's go ahead and do that. Hmm. I think I'm going to tie it to the inside. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how tight to make this stuff. <laughs> I'm unsure. I just haven't done much with this kind of this kind of a binding before. So let's see how that feels. I gotta get this bound first. I'm gonna do a three-hole pamphlet stitch on the actual signature. So I'll get my little book binding kit out here. Clips. My all. We'll go with the black. And there we go. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Do I have my uh, little city styrofoam? Hmm. I did have it handy. Where'd you go? Well. I may or may not <clears throat> be using that if I can't find it. <laughs> I had a piece of foam. Um, all right, that's all right. You know what? Let's just move on. I don't see it handy. So, yep. We're just going to do this. All right, so I want to make sure these are in there where I want them. Centered. Pretty good. So I'm gonna hold that in nice and tight there. <clears throat> Excuse me. A frog in my throat. It's the back side. Here's the front side. Yeah, that'll work. And let's use it all. And I'm just going to eyeball this and poke a hole down the middle. And eyeball it with a hole at the top. And then approximately the same distance and a hole at the bottom. There. Let's put this away. Okay, and then a three hole pamphlet stitch. It's three lengths, three times the length of the spot that you're going to bind. So there's the yarn or the thread that I'll need. Okay. So this one I think I'm gonna start from the outside. from the center and then I go to the, either the top or the bottom and here's the top and give it a little tug and I'm going to go to the bottom there we go and then back up through the center Trying not to cross my threads. There we go. I'll take those off because I like to tighten it. Oops. There we go. And left. Right over left. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, that's tight. Left over right. Good. And I am going to just snip that. Excellent. So now we've got that bound. I'll give that a little extra. There we go. Let's get these guys put away. Inevitably, if I do not put certain things away right away, I will misplace them. <laughs> and then I will be looking for them forever. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's see how that fits in here.
Oh, there we go. That fits in there pretty darn good. So I was thinking, um, in order to make it real obvious which one is the one to, to grab to undo this, I was going to make a little tab, uh, use um, one of the uh, tabs here, since I didn't use a lot of them. And attach it right to our string. So we've got a nice little easy access to grab a hold of and pull that. So I was thinking. Hmm. And I'm thinking I might uh, get my hot glue gun heating up again <laughs> just for that purpose. So let me get that plug back in real fast. Oops. I shouldn't unplug it. Hmm. Okay, so that's heating back up. We'll put that in here in a second. And maybe while we're waiting, we'll do a little bit more decorating. I do want to ink this guy up. Okay, so that's inked. And let me get a few things out of our way. And... So what am I going to do with this front cover? Move a few things off to the side here. So I do have my... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Uh, my little container here, my little two-dish bowl with some labels and things. So let's see, here's these. I had these torn up the earlier and was looking at them. I thought they might be kind of neat to put in here. I kind of across the sheet like that. And then maybe find Uh, B doesn't quite go. Find some labels that might look good. Let's see if we can find anything in here. I know I've got some that are pretty dark. Written authority, that's interesting. I'm going to use that. I mean, I know I've got the circles and the tickets and things like that, but I really wanted to get something else in here to contrast this kit a little bit. I know I've got some darker uh, labels in here somewhere. is in here. Hmm. Oh, I like those. I wonder if I got any more of those. I think I've used up most of those because I liked them so much. I pretty much used those in a lot of places. A little bit of red is nice. Let's look on this side. That's pretty dark. Hmm. Maybe somewhere else in the journal. It's Leave it out. Another darker one. Yeah, I'll just pull out a few of those. 
I don't even like that. Any of them with a red isn't bad either. Kind of go. that say? Greetings. No. No. I like the one with the numbers and different things like that. Kind of cool. It's kind of dark. Here's a larger one. Yeah. All right. I think I've got enough to play with. Yeah. All right. Let's put those aside. And, oops, I'm pretty sure that wasn't meant to be there. <laughs> this is Maj Paj for everything thrown on here. So I am still thinking I want to put those there. I kind of like that. Albert Schweitzer. Sometimes our light goes out but is blown into flames by another human being. Each of us owes deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this light. I do like that. That might be kind of neat to put right on the front cover, huh? Instead of an actual label or something. I do like that. Hmm. What else can we do with that, though? So here is where it might be nice to toss in one of our other little pieces, maybe? That one's just got the music. Hmm. Tickets. I do like those tickets. Ticket up there. Put that down there. Yeah, how about we do that? And I like that car one, so let's let's use that one. Question is, I think I kind of want these to kind of fall off the edge of the paper. So this down to there. I don't want to cover him up, so we got that there. And this is going to go just right above those letters. There. All right, let's get it inked. So this paper is definitely a little bit on the brittle side, so 
So I'm being a little bit extra careful with um, inking it, but it's great paper for collaging. Okay, so the glue book out and the glue stick out. Oh, don't tear off. There we go. And there, yep. Yep, from there to there. And get this guy in place. There. Okay. Um. There we go, this guy. So here I am gluing this and now I'm already thinking, nah, I think it'll be all right, just the way it is. It's got a nice big black border around it, so I think that'll be just fine. Yeah. And our ticket, which I will use the art glitter glue for. Let's get the fuzz. How do I manage that? Okay. I like that. Cool. All right, that's coming along. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of something that maybe is a little bit unexpected instead of just the papers from the kit. Let's get that down. There. All right, so there's that. Put that away, and I think that my hot glue gun is ready. So let me decide, I think I'm going to trim these down. See, those should fit right in there. I'll glue that down. All right. So what I'll do is add a tiny bit of glue to start. And see if we can get these guys to stay in place. Not enough. <laughs> okay, there's a tiny bit of glue. Let's get you guys to stay in place. There we go. And then So I know with the hot glue, it will definitely hold those little strings in there. A little bit of elastic. There, and then we'll have a little pull tab to get our signature in and out. And where is that signature? Right here. 
Cool, so now, just give that a tug, and there's no mistake in it. Huh. I like that, that's cute. All right, so that's in there, that's in there. Um, yeah, let's put something back here. Maybe I'll do those blocks. That little circle there. Just attach that. That's kind of cool. Pull that out while I attach it. Yeah, I'll use the uh, art glitter glue for this one. that and let's see what else do we have here to play with I want to cover up too much of that I like the subtlety For the most part, I'm trying to keep it a little on the simple side. Let's see what I got here. Let's play with that a little. Da, da, da. I'm going to put this right below it so that it makes one continuous little line. So let's get some glue on this guy. match up beautifully right there. There. Cool. I do like that. Neat. And I think I like that too. Yep. 
second. Let's do that. I think um, one of the things I am definitely going to do is I did want to so I'm going to put a charm up the top but I might instead I don't know maybe put one of these put something else up there maybe small enough Oh, but again, I do have these. <laughs> and those kind of work, don't they? Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do one of those and something else just to kind of accent it. Just seems like it was made for that spot, right? Okay. And let's flip it over and see. Yeah, I think I can put something in that spot too. Let's flatten that down. Let's see, what do I have left? I don't want to put her face in there again. I mean, nothing wrong with her face. He's already on the cover. So, flowers would kind of go with that. Or the goggles, which kind of go with the eyeballs. <laughs> I actually think I like the flowers. Yeah, I think I like the flowers. pretty much there yeah so what I wanted to do um, one of the last things I was thinking I wanted to do if I didn't use many of those which is fine is that this kit did come with these belly bands and they're just so pretty so what I was thinking of doing is using one of them as part of the way to uh, close it or bind it that key there I like that it kind of secures the whole thing I mean I would trim this stuff down too I wouldn't leave all the blank spaces probably use velcro yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do 
So I'm going to trim off these edges. And trim my corners down a little. And ink it. I'm just realizing too, as I think I forgot to take a photo of the junk mail before I started. <laughs> and I always usually like to do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that so the key is showing. And this will this will give us some room to ex just a little bit of room there to expand. So I'm not gonna put it down too tight, but I am gonna put some uh, Blue, uh, some Velcro dots there. There we go. All right, so. these away. There. Yeah, this will be easy to slip on and off. You just want to Velcro it there. But that'll hold all the little important pieces in and together. And I think it's a, a great way to use up one of those belly bands. You can open it up. You can set it aside or you can tuck it into the pockets while you're working. There you go. There's that. There's the pocket on the back. Cool. And I think what I will also do is I'm going to put all the extra little... It itty bitty bits and pieces into um, this envelope. So I'm also going to include this envelope. So actually this, I bet would be perfect. It will hold all that in nice and tight. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, that will work. Cool. Oops, I gotta get my other piece in there. <laughs> All right, excellent. I'm gonna um, come back with um, a little flip through of the finished product. All right, guys, here is the final flip through of our Makeover Monday from Piece of Junk Mail. So I have um, a nice little bundle here with an envelope and um, I just have a little, um, I guess it's a, a journal belt uh, to bind it. It's got Velcro on it. And here's a little envelope that came with the kit. And this is just kind of full of the leftover goodies, uh, journaling cards, postcards, tabs, even some of the uh, dictionary page that I use to decorate and to collage with. So that comes with it. And then I've got the, here's the front. We did a little bit of collaging. The back has a little pocket with vellum. And this is a a journaling, a fanned, a fanned out journaling card, so you can journal on each, each fanned out piece. It's 
slides in there. So you open it up. The front cover, front inside cover has two pockets with journal cards. Three there and three there. And it's um the journal the journal actually comes out. There's a little little tab there to pull that out and there are 10 sheets or 11 sheets? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So 22, um, 44 front back pages to journal in. There we go. And the back is just uh, decorated, some collage. And then the back cover is a big pocket, so you pull this little tab here and it comes out a larger card. And then inside that, we've got some file folders, which can be journaled in. And some of the papers that are in that envelope could also go into there. This could also be covered and used for a journaling spot as well. And that just tucks in right there. And the envelope sits right on top. And our little journal belt goes across. I'm putting it down towards the bottom. And there's a little bit of Velcro tab there that holds it all together. There. So I don't want to uh, bend my tab there. But this binds it together nice and neat. And um, there you have it. There's my first little steampunk uh, journal made out of uh, the base is all junk mail. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye. Thanks.